Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If y'all don't know, I go by the name of Angel, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to get roof crisp stuffed chickens in at home for under hundred dollars. So like, comment. Yeah, so I'm gonna have the ingredients, the exact measurements, and everything listed below. It's actually a quick, easy meal. It'll take about an hour, and below. And like I said, roof crisp at home for under hundred dollars. Oh, I forgot. Most importantly, how did I forget? We need our cream cheese. Okay, here's a better view. So, now this is my fun part, making the roof crisp chicken stuffing. This is popping. Our block of cream cheese, we're gonna use the full package of this when you put that. And now I'm about to get our and now I'm about to get our measuring cup and we're gonna um, add in only half of the triple cheddar shredded cheese. Okay, and with our dressing, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of this. Also, we have like little measuring teaspoons, but this works. Okay, and then we just added two tablespoons of our classic ranch dressing. And then we're gonna go one tablespoon of this. And we're gonna mix all this up and we're gonna be good. <laughs> Dab of pepper because you don't want too much, so I'd rather put it in my hand than to have a full finger of pepper falling out and it just being a disaster. <coughs> okay. okay, being that it's still a little thick to get and mix up, we're gonna do a little more of the ranch dressing. I mean, it wasn't, it won't affect like the flavor or anything, but it probably was smoothing it out a little. Oh, and how can I forget? We're gonna add in our thyme two springs of it. It helps with some color. Also some paprika for some coloring as well. And honestly when you like put the seasonings and stuff in it, it's pretty much based off I guess your liking. Like I don't really have like a measurement of how much pepper I threw in there or how much paprika I'm about to pour in. Okay, so your finished result should look something like this, kind of like a batter. And then we're gonna clean up our chicken, stuff this in. And we're good. Okay, okay, and for your chicken, you just wanna do some boneless chicken breast, but some that's super thick to where like you're able to cut it open, still have enough meat to put in your stuff in. And yeah, I'm not sure how too many people. Okay, I'm not too sure how many people clean day chicken but me personally I'll do okay so I'm not too sure how many people clean their chicken but I let mine um sit in some vinegar and then now I'm about to put clean it off with some lemon and then I cut off any extra skin that we don't need Thank you. 
It's up to your preference. You can season it before or after putting in your stuff in. But you wanna cut it, slice a little pocket. You see, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. We're gonna do that to be able to put our stuff in. To all three. break show ready lemonade Okay, so we can't do roof crisps at home without our sides. So we're gonna do garlic, parmesan, mashed potatoes, some saute spinach. And um, a lot of people don't do this, but I boil you my potatoes with chicken broth because it just gives it more flavor. It's just not tasting bland when you just do it with straight water. So we're gonna do that. For my potatoes, I leave them skin on. And being that I do that, I wash them. Like I really scrub them with soap and everything. And I'm gonna dice them up into like um, smaller pieces. And I'm gonna put them and let them boil. Okay, we're gonna boil it on a medium high heat, but instead of boiling it with water, I'm gonna boil it with the chicken broth, put as much chicken broth that I could cover all the amount of potatoes. Fill it to where all your potatoes was covered, and if it's a little, you're fine, or you can just add a bit of water in here and um, let that boil. I should be about 30 to 
35 minutes. I hate boiling potatoes. It takes forever for me. I don't know about y'all, but I got mine on a medium high heat. Good. We can stick a freaking fork through them. And I forgot to show y'all the main ingredient to get you that done. Did it not to stick a fork through it? I almost forgot to show y'all our main ingredient. I forgot the heavy whipping cream. Add in this, it's gonna give you that rich, creamy, fluffy, thick, tasteful flavor. So we're gonna add this in. Okay, here's my red skin garlic mash. We're gonna have this butter melt up on that. Okay, this is our finished result. It looks so bomb. Cheese gushing out. And it's still nice, juicy, and tender. Right, guys? And this is our finished result. Get you some roof crisp at home.